high-performance V8 engines at the highest technical level. Mercedes-AMG is well known for this, and we want to find out how the engineers have made the engine of the new Mercedes-AMG E63 even better. The centerpiece of the new E63, the 4-litre V8 bi-turbo engine with the designation M177. The engine is known from other model series, but was optimized and brought to the performance level 2. Let's see now what performance level 2 means in figures. The E63 now has 420 kilowatts, thus 571 horsepower. In the S version, there is now even a whopping 612 horsepower. The torque values also speak for themselves. The E63 has 750 newton meters, the S version 850 newton meters, and this brings top acceleration values. That was a lot of facts and figures, however, the issue of fuel consumption is still important. The technical solution for this is a real highlight cylinder cutoff. But which cylinders are actually cut off? On the right bank, the cylinders 2 and 3 and on the left bank, the cylinders 5 and 8. You can see it here in the graphic. The cylinder cutoff is also displayed to the driver in the instrument cluster. He sees two pistons. Below it, there's a number, either an 8 for 8-cylinder operation or a 4 for 4-cylinder operation. Now we want to know more. Here we have the actuators which are responsible for the cylinder cutoff. We have a total of eight, four cylinders per bank, and two each per camshaft. You can see this here in the graphic. Here are the two actuators, which are attached in the cylinder head cover. Below are the sliding elements on the camshaft, and underneath the cylinder head. Now we start with the actuators. Here we have the component, and I've opened it up so you can see it better. Here are the two bolts, which move out here and into the gate track. They have the task of shifting the sliding pieces on the camshafts. In other words, this bolt goes out and plunges into the gate track and moves this sliding piece back and forth. The sliding piece is attached to the camshaft and can be moved very easily. This is a cylinder with cylinder cutoff. You can see this here quite easily. The cam is divided. That means a cam track where the valve is actuated and a base circle where the valve is no longer actuated. Let's look at the second sliding piece. This is directly behind it and is operated with the other bolt. Here we have a wide cam. That means this valve is not switched off. On this graphic, light blue represents the cylinder which is not switched off. Gray shows the cylinder with cylinder cut off. And now we move it. And you can see the sliding pieces move. And the cam follower is now on the dark gray part, that is on the base circle, and the valve is thus no longer actuated. What are the conditions for driving with the cylinder cut off? We need to be in the driving program C, and the whole thing works at a speed of 1,000 to 3,250 revs per minute. More power and lower fuel consumption. With the M177 engine, they did it again. The engineers of Mercedes-AMG have delivered another real masterpiece.